All right, hey guys, we're gonna go about this a little bit differently. The setup is different, we're in a different room. There's stuff in boxes. <laughs> so we're gonna go at this from a soft-spoken perspective. Oh gosh, because I just feel like showing you guys all this stuff <laughs> is gonna be hard enough without everything else being crazy. So this is Monday. I'm filming this literally the same day I'm posting it. Um, we, our post wedding shower happened yesterday, had a blast, about 40-ish people, I think, give or take, and, um, we are about, I'm just about to show you, oh, you really can't see me now, hold on, there's nowhere to sit in this room, this room is full of stuff, like, it's, like, ridiculous, we're, thankfully we didn't have time after everything to, like, really come through and, like, clean because otherwise I would never have been able to do this video because I'm trying to like test stuff and put stuff away and like reorganize my entire house <laughs> so I'm gonna try and do this the best way I can and then I might fix the setup because I'm in just a different room so hold on let me try this that's better I think um so we have some bigger things that I probably won't be able to like pull out of a like the box but I will show you I'm gonna try really hard not to expose any addresses we got two of these like mini air purifiers I did truthfully think they were gonna be bigger than this but I kind of think this size might be good for us um, these I'm not gonna open every single every single thing it's just that would just take me too long but oh I need to actually really hold on to all this stuff oh it is so cute though hold on it's so miniature and adorable cute and tiny. Um, we had so many people get us so many different things. It was crazy. There's a bread maker in here. I was going to try and show you, but truthfully, I don't see that being a thing I can just like pick up. Um, okay. Let me, hold on. I got a gift card and stuff like that. I'm not going to show you like anything with any names or anything like that um we got this is the knife set that we picked that we picked out that was given to us um this has a sharpener like a built-in sharpener in the block um and then it comes with oh my god this is so heavy it comes with a chef's knife a bread knife a slicing knife a utility knife a paring knife a santoku knife steak knives six of them kitchen shears built-in knife sharpener and a knife block um truthfully we probably will put that in storage for now just because of the counter space that we are working with but super nice knife set this is so funny okay so when the box came in like in the mail like if the amazon box came it was like a much bigger amazon box this is a comforter <laughs> it i was gonna open it and like show you <laughs> there is no way that i will get it this compacted back in here and i'm putting it directly into storage because this is like a guest bedroom suit that we've got like completely set up for like when we have a house my dogs this door is right here and it's open so my dogs can come in so if you hear them sorry um but <laughs> But I was going to open this because I want to see it too. But truthfully, I do not think I will ever get it this small ever again, even if I vacuum sealed it. So we're going to let Amazon have done their thing there and just move on with my life because truly I don't think I'll ever get it back in that box. This, I'm actually really excited about this. This is such a cheesy thing to be excited about. This is an Amazon Basics tabletop ironing board so it is really short and it's really small so you can hang it to store it which i probably will there's a spot my like laundry room is right behind me and so 
it's got like a little door like a little um shelf and i'll probably hang it by this there um but it's really small but it's compact and i needed it to be compact for where we live currently so plus it don't really see me ironing a whole bunch truthfully so um i think oh no you really can't hold on we got an air fryer this is so heavy this is the ninja air fryer pro i'm gonna put it back down because i my arm's already shaking um it says it's let's see 400 max temp fits five pounds of wings in case you're curious um so it you can't see that down there hold on let me see if i can cut kind of, there we go so it says that it oh gosh air fries roasts reheats and dehydrates so there are a lot of things that i buy like dehydrated fruit for like the animals and stuff um and i'm gonna like try out the features on this <laughs> um because i'm hoping i won't have to dehydrated fruits expensive like if you get a large quantity of it it's like really pricey so i'm hoping that this will manage that for me <laughs> I don't want to have to keep buying dehydrated fruit. Um, let me show you these. Oh, there are two of these. I'm only going to show you this one. This is a table lamp. It looks just like this, but I would be doing you a disservice if I didn't show you, like, actually what the lamp looks like. Um, some of this stuff later on, I might, like, show you more in depth. But a lot of this stuff is just so heavy and like just cumbersome to pick up that I just, I don't want to pick it up, truthfully. So this is the actual, well this is the lamp shade. I love how sleek this looks. So in, this is the base of the lamp. And then of course there's the bulb. Um, okay, that was cool. <laughs> This bulb looks so crazy. Look at the bulb. It looks wild. I've never seen a bulb like that before. Um, I'm so genuinely sorry if the audio is not the greatest in this video. Having to film in a different room. My room is like padded for ASMR audio. And this room is not so and now that i got it out i can't put it back so we'll put it over there that's later me's problem um oh my god i'm not gonna step over okay let me hold on jesus okay So we got a KitchenAid. Um, so okay, let me preface this. So I already own a KitchenAid, like the big, the big KitchenAid, right? Like the the, st the stand mixer that um, you know you put you make stuff with, you know, like a stand mixer. Um, my leg is asleep, and you still can't see me down here. Okay, so not a much better angle, but a better angle, sort of. <laughs> so what I'm working with. At least you can see this stuff now. So this is the one of my favorite things ever. My parents got us this. This is the iRobot. This is a Roomba combo. So it's the i5 Plus. Hold on. Oh, looks like that. It comes with the little thing to like deposit your stuff in it's a vacuum and a mop very very excited about that i have so many animals this thing's gonna be crying for help in like two days <laughs> but anyways we did get this um like i was saying we have a kitchen aid like a normal one like a stand mixer and i like it but it's a pain where it's at right now it's just like not convenient to use so um also there's just some things where you just need a hand mixer for so we got this this is in the shade ice blue um so this was gifted to us as well and then we also have a immersion blender that's in the same color by kitchenaid that should be delivered today um 
Amazon messed up some stuff, so it, it didn't actually come in time, but it was, it's, it's on its way. Me trying to get in frame and still let you hear me. <laughs> okay. Um, can you see? Yeah, so this is a thing of ball jars, like mason jars. I'm not picking that up. And then... I got made fun of for these, right? But these are so nice looking. Look at these. So these are the Kohler um, white stainless step trash cans. They're soft clothes lids. They're stainless steel lids. Sorry about the air. And um, they've got like a bag clip in it. Like they're so fancy looking. So this is a two pack. So like, you see how it's got like a little secure thing for it? So like the bag hooks onto the trash can itself, which is good. So I'm not totally sure whether we'll put these out now or we'll leave them for the new house. I don't know yet, but these are trash cans. Put that right there. Me trying to grab something else. Okay. This is the other air purifier. This is the Leviote air fryer, air purifier, air fryer, air purifier. This one I've heard is a really good one. Um, this is sold, I think, at Target as well now. I don't know. But this is, it says woman founded, eco-friendly, dedicated to clean air. So very excited to just give these a go. I'll probably we'll put one in our bedroom and then we'll see about another one. I want to put one in like a main, a main room because we need some purified air for sure. This we're actually going to open together because I'm really excited to see what this looks like. This is a digital picture frame. I realize I'm like so old for wanting a digital picture frame. Like that's such like a grandma thing to want, but I don't like picture frames like I don't do pictures like that like I take pictures but then I never do anything with them because I don't want them around my house everywhere like not yet anyways so my thought was I'll just get one of these that I can't get into and we will just load it up with pictures and then I only have to have had one of them but it like you know moves so you can like still get the effect oh, this is nice oh also uh just so you guys are aware there is a new trip apparently that is in the works for me coming up so look forward to cool videos of that so this is the this is the, the picture frame. Okay, so here's the stuff. So, it's just the picture frame, and you can, like, hang it, or I think there's, like, somewhere for you to stand it on there. Um, and then you, you know, can load up your stuff in here. I just thought this was nice. It's a lot easier to have something like this than, like, 37 pictures like picture frames all over and I know like that's probably not like the way to be but like there are so many people in my family and so like if you start putting pictures out like you're not <laughs> it's just never gonna you're, you're always gonna be leaving somebody out and I don't want to do that so this works too so there's a box an unidentified box over here let's see what that is hold on Oh, I know what this is already. Okay, so this is a, um, a storage container for pots and pans. So um, if you see my registry video, you've already seen all this stuff, just like not in real life. So it's like the thing where like it's a stand like this and then it's got like little arms that come off of it and you put pots or pans on top of it and it will like hold them so it's like stacked so you don't have to have them like all over the place so they're like stacked in each other like whatever 
it's kind of like a pot organizer, basically. These I'm so excited for. Five piece mixing bowl set. Looks like this. And it's all these bowls, they all have lids as well. So like, do not wash lids in dishwasher. So you've got like your blue lids, right? And then you've got, I'm just gonna take one out. You've got like a metal, a steel, like a stainless steel mixing bowl with like a slip, a non-slip bottom to it, which is the same color as the lids. So like you can make, if you're making bread or something and it needs to go in the refrigerator, you could just like put your lid on it and stick it right in the refrigerator, which is nice. So really like these, I'm really excited. So the mixing bowls are dishwasher safe, but the, the lids are not. And this is about the brand Priority Chef. So that's pretty cool. even that far into this stuff which is like and there's stuff I just like can't show you there's a box here of a full set of plates I just physically cannot show you and the bread maker again I physically cannot show you that like it's too heavy it's too cumbersome like it's just not happening all right let me grab some other stuff let's see if I can like slide it to me my fiance packed all the stuff in this room and when he comes back and see it like this he's gonna kill me <laughs> So this is a coffee mat. Again, this is like really, I don't know how to describe this, but it's, it's like a, what do you call this? It's a mat basically, but it's like, it's like a non-slip mat for like coffee, but coffee bar. Um, but it also is like absorbs water and like wicks away coffee and stuff like that. So just very cool and super long. So. I'm really excited for that. This I'm so excited for. These are measuring cup, like spoons. This is what these look like. These are staying with me immediately. So this is what they look like. They're magnetic. So you've got, and I'm gonna look really ignorant here, I'm sure, but I truly, Oh, okay. So this says the narrow end is designed to fit in most spice jars and the round end is for liquids. So, and then they all have flat bottoms so that they can rest without like flopping around. So we've got a teaspoon. We've got half, I'm sorry, that's that teaspoon, a tablespoon, half a tablespoon, teaspoon three-fourths of a teaspoon half a teaspoon a quarter of a teaspoon an eighth of a teaspoon and last but not least a sixteenth of a teaspoon um, and then this is the leveler it's called a leveler and it's also got I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up in this amazing beautiful lighting here it's got a, a ruler right there. I don't know why you need a ruler, but you know, you just scoop your stuff and like that and you've got it leveled. Pretty, pretty cool stuff, I think. Pretty, pretty nerdy, I think too, but it's okay. Um, I gotta reorganize these now, but it's fine. We'll do that in a minute. I'll do that off camera. It's fine. Um, oh. We got this Johnson or Joseph and Joseph whisk and there you go. I can show you. So I already own one of these, but it's already breaking and I've had it cause I've had it for like years, but you twist it out and it becomes like a bowl, a balloon whisk and then you flatten it and it's a blend whisk or like a flat whisk. Um, but what I like it is it stores fully flat. So you don't have to worry about storing like a balloon whisk. You can just store it like this and you're good to go. It's one of my favorite things ever. I adore these. Get them wherever you can get them. They're awesome. This is um, 
shelf racks for your oven so you just like put them they stick to they're magnetic and they stick to the top of your sh like your stove so I got a set of these I know I said I wasn't going to be able to do this. We've only got three things left. Hold on, let me pause you. Okay. We got a set of towels. I really like how these look. They look like really nice towels. I actually had another set of towels and two sets of washcloths. Like, they were a different color. Um, the wash One set of washcloths were the same, and the other set of towels were a different color, and the washcloths were different. They all, like, matched. Um, and... I think I'm gonna actually ditch the whole other set of towels and leave these for a guest bathroom and like when we have people over I'll let them use these towels because we have a ton of towels already um but I think I'm just gonna get some washcloths to match this and be good there this is so cute it's a black and decker easy steam compact iron i didn't even really intend for it to be this small but i'm absolutely over the moon that is this small it's a vertical steamer as well as like a normal iron as well but look how small this is i know you can't really get a good glimpse of it but like this is a tablespoon measurement right so like <laughs> it's so compact and like obviously there's other stuff in this box like there's packaging and whatever so i love how small it is just because like our already our ironing board's small and we're working with like low space i also don't think this is something we'll use a lot but just to have it if you need it is a good thing in my opinion even though i got absolutely clowned for wanting this so there you go we've got two things left I am over the freaking moon to try this. So this is the Ono Moon. I thought this was an actual KitchenAid, but I guess it's not. Stand mixer attachment. So it's got um, where am I looking at here? Well, regardless, it's got this little bowl here, and then it's also got this little like whisk thing in it. It's like a magnetic attachment to make ice cream in your KitchenAid, and you can make sorbet and stuff. So this is gonna be my neck, one of my other projects. I know I'm gonna have to freeze this component, and freezing this is gonna be tough because I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put this in my freezer. But I'm very excited. I'm very very excited. And now the last thing is for my coworkers at my job. And okay, well, there's no way I'm going to show you this without it looking like deranged considering how they did it. But this is what they, it was like wrapped and like really nice. <laughs> I mean, it looked really bad, but they brought me this little like set. So in it was these little like utensil sets. So these are silicone, these little like, um, there's a larger spatula like a little rounded one and then an actual spoon and then there this is actually are these all silicone they are um <clears throat> so it's like a pasta strainer and then like a normal i call them spatulas but i know people call them turners um really pretty colors all the colors match my wedding colors which is not it did not go unnoticed then we got this super cute little kitchen towel love it and then I'm glad these weren't glass because they would have probably broken. But these little cups, these little like, I don't even know what you call these. Um, are they like flutes? Are they considered flutes? I don't know. Super cute though. And then. Oh, I'm going to look so dumb. I don't know what this is. Spicy, mild, sharp, gorgonzola, cheddar, parmesan, gouda, brie, and goat. And it's on this like little ring that you can pull off. Oh, I know exactly what these are. These are little labels for like a charcuterie board. So you stick it in here and it's got like spicy cheese. So you know, that is so cute. I love that. 
oh my gosh and then they store on this so you don't have to worry about losing them <laughs> love that um needed needed these because i have my the set i have now are on their actual last leg just a nice little set of measuring spoons it's got an eighth of a cup a fourth of a cup a third of a cup a half a cup and a cup um these are really nice nice and neutral too and a cute little this is a cute little butterfly these little italian color pastas super adorable and it's called yo mama's tomato sauce roasted garlic if you knew my friend i know we had a good we had a good laugh about this she thought that was so funny <laughs> like she thought that was the funniest thing ever and then these are the little measuring spoons that were in the little little set as well so cute and then oh these are nice a set of espacias del sol so spices of the sun this is uh, black pepper and Himalayan salt little grinders. They're really nice. They're glass too. These are really nice. And then I'm assuming this came as like a set. Yeah. So these are olive and thistle kitchen towels. It's a three pack made in Pakistan. And so it's another matching one of that. And then this like more absorbent one. I love the colors. And then this is an XL steel six quart strainer. I needed a good strainer. I actually had a strainer on my registry. And I'm very excited to have a big one like this because I overflow my strainer about literally once a day. <laughs> so um, very, very excited to have this. So overall it was a lot of fun we had a lot of really good fellowship with everybody and i had a lot of fun doing it and truthfully i'm beyond grateful for everybody and everything there are some other gifts that haven't come yet um there's a, a more immersion blender that hasn't come yet and a um like a table that hasn't come yet so everybody was awesome and um, I really appreciate everybody that came and, and that was a big part of it. I apologize for this video being so, so lo-fi and so, so mediocre. Um, I haven't, this is like the second time I've done a haul in this room. This is my fiance's like um, work room, basically. Like he does like, he has his stuff in here and um, like his version of my office, basically. Um, and it was just, this is where all the stuff was. We literally just unloaded the car, put it all in here, and we're like, we'll handle this later. Um, we got home so late because we're trying to plan a trip now. And anyways, um, I'll, I'll, I'll life update you at some point, but um, lots of cool stuff to come. Probably going to do, um, I got a lot of stuff going on. So if a Wednesday video doesn't happen, I really apologize for that, but there's just a lot going on right now. Um, got to, I spent a whole, a whole weekend with family and friends, which as it was happening was kind of draining. But now that I'm like after the weekend's over and I'm like reflecting back as like, as it's ended was really good. It was a lot of fun. We went out of town and then you know, the people who were out of town came in town and it was just good. There's people I haven't seen in a while and a good rekindling. Unfortunately, some of this, like the reason I went out of town wasn't a good reason, but we all still fellowshiped regardless. So all of that to say, um, I am beyond grateful for everybody showing up for us. And, uh, this, none of this goes without an amazingly grateful heart. I feel beyond blessed every day. So, um, thank you guys so much for showing up for me as well. Um, every video, you guys are awesome. And, um, I'll try and see you Wednesday. I'll try and see you Wednesday. We'll see. I'll do my best, but yeah. So now to go reorganize my house, I guess. Um, but yeah, thanks guys so much for watching this video. Sorry. It was very just all over the place, but I kind of did the best I could do. I'll try my best to show you kind of like everything in action or something maybe, but we'll go from there for sure. But, um, I will see you guys on Wednesday. Good night. Good night. Good night.